Alright Madden Nation, welcome to Madden 13 Tip of the Week series. This is our second installment, and today we're going to be talking user pressing to Madden 13. And I think it will work for every Madden, I'm not positive on this. But I'm pretty sure for the majority of the last couple of Maddens that this has been the same exact button. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a standard 4-3, cover 3 buzz, because that's what we've been utilizing as most of our base plays. And... We're just going to go to one of the most effective formations in the game this year, single back ace, and we're just going to pick um, curl flats because it's easy to talk about. Now, the play from single back ace is you have two tight end streaks. A lot of times you'll have a blue route from the running back. You'll have an out route on one side and a fade on the other side. So you see the ability to beat man coverage is galore, and then the two streaks are going to beat zone coverage. So a lot of thing, a lot of times what I'll do is, uh, you know, a lot of times what people will do is they'll snap the ball, and you'll see a lot of this, throws to the tight end, okay, throws to the tight end. Well, or, um, just for example here, uh, user catch fade route, something like this. It's not going to get bumped on, on this PlayStation. Uh, a fade route to the left side of the field is one of the most effective uh, routes on PlayStation 3. So let me just audible to that here. So fade route, left side, and you see it's not going to get pressed. And so you can user catch that, okay. So... How do you slow down an opponent's certain route? So what you're going to do is this. You're going to come out, you're going to base the line, you're going to press. You're going to spread your linebackers like this. Okay, so you see how they're stacked. And a lot of times what I like to do is I like to be deceiving. So I'll use this, offense, or this defensive lineman here in a, um, a quarterback spot. So say they're killing me with streaks to, low, to Ben here. This is the key. And then I'll set up a blitz here with uh, my other side of the field. So I'm going to use Cunningham. I'm going to hold... Uh, this is crucial. I'm going to hold R1. R1 at the snap, okay? So uh, when I hold R1, you're going to see here, if I snap the ball, I snap the ball here. Whoops, I didn't do it. Hmm. I wonder if you can't do it in Spy. So let me use a, let me use a, just, let me just use a middle linebacker, or an outside linebacker here. So we're going to use an outside linebacker so it's easier to see. Um, but, okay, so say that they're doing this. And they got a streak. They got two streaks of the tight end. And say like outs on this side. Okay, so this is their play. Okay, so I'm going to take high time. I'm going to pinch him in just a little bit. And to snap the ball, I'm going to hold <coughs> R1. And that's going to give me a press. I need to get over the top of him. You have to be over the top of him, however. So that's why I initially thought Cunningham. But you want to be like right here. And, uh... Hopefully we'll get it. Well, I guess we can't get it out of 4-3 stack. I'm sorry. I apologize, guys. Um, let's just use the middle linebacker. I know I can get it from that. I wonder if it, I wonder if you have to have your quick links on. That may be something. But let me try it with um, spikes here. Someone's going to get Ninkovich out of the way. So you can get over the top of him like this with spikes. And uh, let me just drag him here. So a drag is unbumpable. Well, I'm trying to press. It's hard to do with two controllers, guys. I apologize. Um, let me let me go. Let me get out of four three stack. I feel like the, the linemen are getting in the way, and it's just ugh, it's just frustrating me right now. So let me go to just like um. <coughs> excuse me. Let me go to a, a gun doubles. So a gun doubles week. Yeah, this will work. So let me just go to four three. Go to 4-3 stack and just go will too fire here. Okay. So I have Mayo over this guy right here. And you're going to see, hopefully this time. There it is. You see, I, I shedded him there. And, and you're not getting, like, the full effect because you, I don't have, I don't have another person to help me. I'm doing this with two, two controllers here. So I'm actually just going to, I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to let the computer run the play. So just, just so I could show you the press on the, uh, on the thing, on the thing here. So I'm just going to let the computer run it. <coughs> there you're going to see, he's going to snap the ball. Actually, I think I have to snap the ball. So I have to snap it one more time. Okay, now the computer's going to snap the ball here. And I want us to look at this play. So, um, 
Shoot, I, for, I forgot the computer was snapping the ball. Dag on it. Okay, let me show you one more time here. I want you to keep an eye on, on Dallas Clark here. You want to get up on him. You want to hold down R1. You see I'm going to press him, and then I just follow. Follow, follow, follow. And then once I see my guys can cover him, I get off, and I get an interception here. Let's go in the replay and show you guys what happened there. Ah, shoot. I'm going to show you again. So you see the user press, user press, and force them to go to another option. That's the key to the user bump. You're taking away your opponent's number one option. So, sorry that this video took so long, guys. I know I messed up a little bit in the beginning there, but we got it back. And that's the tip I mainly wanted to show. When you can user bump a guy, chuck him off, and then that's going to kill the snap throw streaks. That's going to kill pretty much everything to that receiver. That receiver is essentially done at this point, and your opponent's going to move on to another read just because he sees you using him. So... <coughs> If you can lock down all the other reads, you know, you'll definitely be able to lock down your opponent's offense in Madden 13. Hope you guys check this video out. Make sure you check out the two videos at the top and the two, video and the two links at the bottom of this video. Uh, we should have a channel link to the left, a uh, random video, or a 4-3, uh, a breakdown, of, uh, one of our breakdowns to the right, a random video to the right, the uh, top right I mean, and to the left we should have uh, the last the previous episode of Tip of the Week. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoy the new kind of format for our YouTube channel. Uh, trying to get things nice and prettied up for Madden 25. Make sure you guys work on user pressing. I think it's one of the most effective tactics in Madden 13, especially for people who like to run hurry up because they won't see it coming. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.